Good morning, everyone. Hello. Wow, it feels weird speaking to a camera again. I have taken the last couple weeks off of vlogging. Actually, it hasn't even been two weeks. I vlogged my last week of work, and then it's been one week since that. So, happy Tuesday. I am using this facial sculpting tool that I got from my mom. She got it as a gift and doesn't use it. And I was like, yo, I've always wanted one of those things. And I almost bought this Skinny Confidential one for like $100. And she was like, oh, you can just have this one for free because I don't use it. And I was like, amazing. So it looks a little questionable, but it's really good for lymphatic drainage. And we love that. So I'm sculpting my face this morning, contemplating life, getting ready for an exciting day. So welcome to an unemployed week in my life. <laughs> I was home last week. Basically, yeah, I guess I'll catch you up on everything that's happened since I finished my contract at my last job. Um, after my last day, I packed everything up and then the next day in the morning, I flew out to Seattle and I went to my cousin's wedding. So we had like a little mini family reunion with a bunch of family on my mom's side because that's what side the cousin's on. And um, it was so much fun. We stayed in an Airbnb, went to the lake and just spent a lot of quality time together. Family that I haven't seen in like six, seven years, maybe more. And it was just like much needed. I pretty much unplugged. I was not really online much or like in that headspace. I think it was honestly the perfect thing for me coming out of just finishing work and then, you know, going and being somewhere with family and doing something focused on other things instead of just being like, okay, well now what, now I'm unemployed and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I honestly loved it. And then from there, we were in Seattle through the weekend. And then on Sunday, we drove down to Bend where my parents live and I stayed with them for like five days. Um, unfortunately, they both did get sick. So we couldn't like do that much. Luckily, I didn't get sick. I think it's cause I have antibodies from when I had COVID in May, um, but they were quarantining and I was hanging out at home with them at a distance. <laughs> So we didn't really like do anything exciting. I like went out in the world a bit, um, just like, you know, keeping my distance, just being outside, walking the trails and stuff, which I love to do when I'm there. But I didn't end up vlogging there. And I know that a lot of people were looking forward to those vlogs. Like I posted some Instagram stories while I was home and everyone's like, oh my God, can't wait for the Paula vlogs and the, you know, I love your home content, Oregon content and all of that. And I feel a little bit bad, but honestly, well, first of all, there wasn't anything exciting to vlog and I don't think my parents would have even wanted to be on camera because they were sick. It was honestly nice just for me to kind of continue that um, unplugged thing for the whole week and not vlog and just spend time in solitude with myself and family and just relax and step away. Um, so I don't regret it, but I do apologize. <laughs> That's what I'll say. We're back. I flew back on Sunday. I got here bright and early, red eye flight and came back and crashed I was so tired. Red eye flights like take it out of me. I don't know how people function like a full day after just jumping off a flight at 6 a.m. Um, but luckily it was a Sunday. So I had a nice lazy Sunday getting back into the swing of things here, cleaning my apartment. And now it's a new week. This is, I will call this like last week was my relaxation week and now it's my, okay, well, kind of. I have an interview today is basically what I'm getting at. So it's one thing, nothing major. Um, and I have, you know, been in this process for a bit. I've been applying to jobs the last like over a month. I've had a couple leads here, a couple interview processes, but nothing that I feel confident is like panning out. So I'm excited about my interview today. I am very hopeful about it and I'm really excited about the organization it's with. I don't want to say too much before because obviously this is a first round interview. So, so early days, they would say <laughs> on Love Island. I was reading a lot of their publications and getting kind of up to date on their work because usually my interview prep isn't so much like prepping myself and my answers and like thinking of stories that I can tell. Like I really do try to prep by familiarizing myself most with the organization or company, which I think is, you know, a common thing for interview prep. But um, I've been filling in kind of like a Word doc sheet that I'm gonna have open for my own reference while we're interviewing. So I'm excited. But yeah, yesterday it was a lot of that, catching up on work stuff, catching up on emails that I haven't gotten to, blah, blah, blah. So we're rolling with it. We are in the ups and downs, in the throes of 
the job search and realistically i've it's literally been one week that i haven't been working so it's not that long but to me it feels like so weird um and it is i guess weird because last week felt like a vacation and now that i'm like back in my apartment and not like logging on to teams and having my meetings with my team and everything first thing in the morning um that's what makes me feel like okay well now i really need to get my button gear even though i have like I'm, I'm doing the thing and i just have to be patient and tomorrow i'm packing because on thursday bright and early i'm taking the train to boston to meet sierra and then we're taking a bus to concord new hampshire <laughs> If you listen to Fingers Crossed podcast, I don't remember what episode it was, but it must have been last summer because we were planning a trip to go. I'm such a weird, I was such a weird kid, still am I guess, but I had this like random obsession with Concord, New Hampshire as a kid, never been there, didn't know anyone who lived there, didn't have family or friends there. I truly do not know why, but I literally found a journal of mine where I just like sketched Concord, New Hampshire, like wrote it in a bunch of different fonts and I was just like obsessed with it. Um, so it's always just been a running joke, like in my family and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I just have to go at this point. So last summer we were going to go cause Sierra is, has, um, family via her fiance who live in New Hampshire or have a house in New Hampshire. So they go and visit in the summer and last summer she was going to go and then her fiance got COVID. So we had to cancel our Concord day, Concord, sorry. This year they're going to the lake. And so Concord's like 40 minutes away from that. So she's coming to meet me and taking a day to explore Concord, New Hampshire in this faded um, trip that I think is meant to be. So we're going on Thursday, staying the night there, and then I'm coming back on Friday afternoon. I guess this isn't even like a full week in my life at all because I just have an interview and then I'm going to Concord, New Hampshire. So I guess that's the reality of being unemployed. <laughs> my interview's at 11.30. It's like 8.45 right now. It's probably 9 by the time I talking i'm feeling confident enough i will say <laughs> so that's where i'll leave it and i will stop rolling my face i'm supposed to get my period so my face is super bloated so even this didn't even help drastically but you know it's the placebo that counts right happy tuesday let's have a successful day well this is very zoomed in but yes this is my face ready to go it is 34 minutes until go time so this is what i'm wearing i have pretty much two go-to interview outfits um if you've watched any of my vlogs in the past where i was interviewing you probably recognize this one i read somewhere one time the blue is like the best interview color i don't even remember the psychological explanation for that but i latched onto that and ran with it and i have this one blue blazer from loft that i pretty much wear and Maybe not every single interview. I'll either do this or my Steve Jobs look of a plain black long sleeve and a little gold necklace. But this is a classic. It's also comfortable enough. Even though it is really hot outside, I'm running my air to get it as cold as I can in here before I have to turn it off for the interview. So I'm starting to feel a little bit of nerves, but I'm also just like excited. I've been practicing my elevator pitch and trying to get it down from the elevator ride of the Empire State Building that's like way too long and 50,000 floors to a more succinct version without rambling too much. Do I need to put on a darker lip color or would that be distracting? I also want to wear my blue light glasses just because I think it makes me look more professional. But then the reflection, because I'm in front of windows and my screen, I think it's just too distracting. So I'm going to go without. But I've never had a first interview where I just wasn't nervous at all. Sometimes second or third interviews, I know what more, I know more of what to expect. And also I've already met the people that I'm generally interviewing with. So I feel more comfortable like with, you know, what I can expect with them. I'm going to keep practicing and reading and maybe listening to some nice classical music to calm the nerves. And then I'll let you guys know how it goes. A few inches later. Nice. And it was a good conversation. And I felt like I was very prepared um, to answer everything they asked, basically. There was like one point where I was a little bit like, uh, it was one of those where you were supposed to come up with an example off the top of your head. And I feel like I've thought through a lot of the classic interview, tell me about a time when stories, but this one caught me a little bit off guard. But I think it was okay. I think that every good interview has one moment where you fumble just a little bit, but that, you know, makes you a little human. So it's okay. I'm feeling good about this, but I don't want to jinx it or get over invested. So 
Yes, and the role definitely sounds like something I really want and I'm interested in. I was actually kind of curious just learning about it if I was going to want it more or less after hearing about it just because there were some things that were unclear but after talking to them it made me feel better about the position it's something that I think is a really good fit but again knock on wood now I can relax decompress I'm really hungry so I'm gonna make some lunch it's 12 15 I'm gonna have an egg sandwich and watch the new episode of Love Island and let myself kind of relax for a minute because I spent all morning doing interview prep but yeah all good things. Um, they said that they're hoping to make a decision in the next week or two. So I'm going to close the million tabs that I had open in preparation of this. <laughs> Relax for a bit and then plan the rest of my day. It's later now. It's like 4 p.m. I'm leaving in 40 minutes to go to a boxing class. So I braided my hair and put on um, workout top. And I feel kind of tired, but I don't really want to drink caffeine in the afternoon, so I'm trying to avoid it. Um, just because while I'm getting back on like East Coast sleep schedule, I don't want to be like up too late. So I'm drinking an Olipop instead. It's a beer flavor, very good. Editing my previous vlogs. I don't know why, but this camera, when I upload the footage, it doesn't put them in Final Cut Pro in chronological order, like they're all in a completely random order and so when there's a ton of clips from a few weeks ago that I don't even remember exactly when I filmed what um, it gets kind of <laughs> so you kind of want to take my eyes off the screen for a bit so I might read for the last 40 minutes or so before I go to work at class I'm going to rumble and I just finished the book lovers last night by Emily Henry I cried and I did like it. I didn't like it as much as her other two books that I've read, People We Meet on Vacation, which was my favorite, and Beach Read. I love that one too. I don't know. I know that people said Book Lovers was like a different pace and kind of slower, and it was, and I don't know what about it. Like I liked the book and I thought there was, it was interesting, but I don't think I related to the character as much as I did in the other ones, so maybe that's why. But it was still a good story, but I wasn't like obsessed, obsessed with it. So anyway, um, now I'm reading every summer after. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't bring myself to read intellectual books in the summer. Like I have to read all of the like mainstream girly beach read kind of books that everyone talks about. Um, so I'm reading Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. And so far it's really cute. So I think I might read some of that actually. Excited to go to a boxing class been too long and then when I come back tonight I'm gonna have a chill night and start doing some packing or at least like make my packing list I don't know why but in the hours since my interview now I'm like second guessing everything and I'm feeling a little bit just like uh, like did it go as well as I thought did they like me you know what I mean like when you have those feelings of oh I don't know <laughs> it's just natural I sent like my thank you email and stuff so we'll see when they follow up, but I don't know. Like right afterwards, I was like, that was great. And then as time went on, I was like, was it though? I need to get my mind off of it. And a boxing class is the perfect thing, frankly. So it will be good. Just left Rumble, tomato face. Oh my God, it is so hot out that I'm still gonna be sweating. Not a good cool down kind of weather, but I definitely needed to move my body. I feel better, so I'm gonna walk home. Okay, everyone, it is now dinner time and we are cooking HelloFresh. So excited. This, I have not had this meal before and I pulled this out of the box and I was like, oh, I have to make that immediately. It looks so good. You know the glare. But we have one pan pork fajita lettuce wraps. Boom, so delicious. In the prep time, only five minutes. Cook time, 15. So quick and easy. If you don't know HelloFresh, they're America's number one meal kit. I love them. I love getting to work with them. So thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this because it is honestly such a joy to me when I get that box and I get to make new recipes or just kind of like mix up my normal routine of making dinner. Something I love about cooking in the summertime is just like having so many different 
produce items in season and fresh things and HelloFresh brings that right to your door by getting fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week. We all know that in the summer it gets kind of hectic if you're traveling or going on trips to go to weddings or whatnot. People are always out of town. Everyone's always kind of all over the place. So HelloFresh is flexible in that you can kind of change the delivery address if you want to move it to your vacation home for a bit or if you are coming back from a trip and you know you won't have time to grocery shop, you can make it just like deliver the day that you get back. So convenient. So I've actually gone ahead and chopped all the produce, followed the instructions of the first one on the back. All the pictures and step-by-step -step instructions make it so easy to follow. I'm gonna fire up the stove. I'm gonna heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high, add the onion, pepper, and the pork and cook that up. Something else I love about HelloFresh is just like the variety that they have. So they can do different kinds of meals to help you stick to your goals, whether that's pescatarian, veggie, or fit and wholesome meals. They also can do different sizes too. So for example, if you want like a two person or a four person, you can do the family size. This is actually the family size that I have. So if you're, you know, making it for you and your family, or if you're just making it for like you and your significant other, and then you have leftovers, you can make it work for whatever you need. Okay, the pork is now cooked. It smells so freaking good in here. My mouth is watering. So I'm about to dish up a few little lettuce wraps. I love that HelloFresh gives you like just what you need because then it cuts down on less wasted food and also less prep for you with the pre-portioned ingredients. It saves me. I'm gonna dish up some fajita. Look at that steam. And they also gave some blue corn tortilla chips to crumble on top. Final product, looking so good and smelling even better if you could believe it. I wish you guys could smell it through the camera and also taste it. But you can if you order HelloFresh and I can give you a code to do that right now. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code ChristyV16 to get 16 free meals across seven boxes, including three free gifts. So again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code ChristyV16 and get 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Boom. Okay, cheers. I'm gonna try a bite with you guys on camera. I haven't had a lettuce wrap at home in a long time and I don't know why I don't make them anymore, but yum. Mm. Truly, they never disappoint. Like, you'd think that lettuce and everything might be a little more plain. Their flavors, their recipes, chef's kiss. I'm excited to eat the rest of these and enjoy my HelloFresh. So check it out, link below. Ciao. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, it's actually the next week after my interview. Um, I still haven't heard anything yet, but they said I would hear in a week or two. So, fingers crossed. But I did, after that day, um, I had like my packing day and then we went to Concord, New Hampshire, which I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog, but I decided to make that a separate vlog because it was just so random compared to the interview stuff. So now I'm gonna continue and add just a day or two of at home kind of content. I'll show you guys what I got from Newly for August. Here's my August bag. Look how cute she is. So many fun patterns. This one gives a little bit of costume energy. It's like Dorothy picnic kind of vibes. This is from Urban Outfitters. I got a large because it's all they had, even though it did look a little wide, but we'll see how it is on and hoping for the best. Here's the Urban Outfitters dress. I actually really, really like it. I thought that it was gonna be a little revealing at first, but I put the sleeves up like this and I think it's pretty cute. The waist could taper in a little bit more, like it does kind of lose a little bit of shape, but I don't think it's that bad. And it's a good length and everything, like hits above the knee. And it's such a good end of summer piece. I might have to organize a picnic with my friends just to wear this. <laughs> Which is also cute. It's a flattering cut, I think. I like square necklines, so this is a win. Next, I'm gonna do, I think this is another Urban Outfitters dress. The reviews were very high of this. It's stretchy, lightweight, kind of collared dress. I got a medium, free people. Oh, it's free people, not Urban Outfitters. But I think I need to tie the bodice. Three, two, it looks like animal print, but it's just speckled. Okay, three, two, one. Here's the free people dress. I think I might need to mess with it a little bit more. This is definitely an interesting kind of cut and I don't think it's super flattering on me, but um, there's supposed to be a little gap here. And also I'm wearing shorts underneath that are like pajama shorts that are kind of bunched up, but whatever. Besides all of that, the bra might need changing. Otherwise it is really comfy 
and it feels like pajamas honestly and it's got a little collar this is the medium which I feel like fits fine um yeah lightweight good for summer it just kind of gives teacher besides the like low cut part like I don't know something about it is giving like teacher that doesn't know how to dress appropriately <laughs> maybe it's the collar that's throwing me off but I don't love this as much as I hoped but it's still cute let's go for this jumpsuit I've almost rented this so many times but something about the reviews like kind of put me off of it but I said I finally want to try it this is free the roses I think it might be a free people brand this is a medium it's like this ruffled ivory jumpsuit so here we go three two one I like it in theory but you guys, this bunched up waistband, no. It's giving maternity, it's giving, why, I don't know why they did this with the ruffle. I think it should have just like, this should have been the waist at the ruffle, like going down from the pants. You know what I mean? Like it's, this whole thing is weird. So lightweight and nice feeling, it's very comfortable. But just a bummer that they like did this whole thing. So, mm, not sure if I'm gonna end up wearing this one. Next we have a bodysuit, which I think is so fun and different than what I usually get from them, but I think it could be potentially really cute or a disaster. It's kind of like corset, a little bit old-timey vibes with the brown and ivory pattern, like a thong bodysuit. So let's see how it looks on. This is by, this is Free People, and I got a medium. Here we go. I'm not super sure how I feel about this, but I think I really like it. It's different for me, like I said, but I think the cut is actually really flattering. And I'm just wearing a nude strapless bra under it now, which I think works. Like it's not too sheer, it's nude anyway. But very fun. I think this would be a great like focal point of an outfit. I just throw on these PJ shorts over it to show you guys the bodysuit. But the pattern goes like bottom of your tummy. Did I just say tummy? You know, if you're going out. I really like it. It's comfortable, stretchy a little bit. Almost done. I have a top that I'm really excited about that looked really cute on the model, but they always do, so who knows. It's like a cross halter top, a nude one. So this is by N. Ellie, and I got a large. Immediately, yes, I immediately love it. It is so cute comfortable I really like the fit and the fabric is so nice it's like thick it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall down especially with the halter and I kind of wish it was medium just because it might slip a little bit but this is what they had and it fits pretty well otherwise so it's okay I think this would be really cute with just like white jeans or honestly any jeans last thing I have is a piece of a piece is overalls and I size down in these so I'm kind of worried they're not gonna fit but it's all they had color blocks of tiny floral patterns so they have some various colors and prints with tiny florals on an ivory overall short these are blank NYC so I'm just gonna put these on over this top even though it might not look great but just to see the fit of it and I thought that this was a nice five-year-old turned 27 frolicking through the last days of summer piece. So let's see how it looks. It's definitely tight as I expected. And I feel like because it's already pretty young looking, it being small on me just makes it look like I'm trying to wear an old kid's outfit. So I don't know how this is gonna work, <laughs> slash if it will. But maybe with the right top under it and if I kind of like did a one shoulder, I don't know. I still am not giving up hope on them, but I'd say they're probably true to size since this one's a size down for me and it's a little tight, but um, it's a cute idea. I just don't know if I can pull it off. This is something Sierra would pull off and look great in. Those are my picks from Newly this month, even though it's a little bit late, it's like halfway through August at this point, but I'm just kind of on that schedule with ordering my rental clothes, but I, I think it's a good, a mixed bag. Some that I love, some that are a little iffy, but overall I'm excited to wear these pieces. So, yay. I consider that a win. Hi guys. Okay, today is Saturday. I'm wearing my picnic table dress because I'm going on a picnic. Um, we're going to Central Park, which I haven't been to, honestly, 
Well, I went at nighttime for that, like, did I film that actually? I don't know, they have like a roller skating theme night. I went to their like 80s roller rink nighttime thing, like a month ago, month or two ago. <laughs> I haven't been in like the daytime basically since probably spring. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna have a little picnic with some friends and gonna go and get some Ralph's coffee on the Upper East Side and just have a lovely day. It's sunny outside, warm, it's like 90 degrees today. I'm in a bit of a weird headspace because I was getting ready, like excited doing my makeup and stuff and I heard they got an email and I checked my email and it was a rejection letter from the job that I interviewed for last week that was literally in this vlog so you get to get, see the whole arc of it um, and I'm very disappointed like why am I getting emotional about it right now? I think I'm just like I think I'm just like feeling a little bit like okay, well now I'm all the way back at square one in a sense, like that was the only one right now where I felt like there was still a possibility and I felt like really hopeful about it. And I thought it was gonna be a really good fit and I honestly was like a little overqualified for it and so that's why I'm just like feeling even more discouraged that I didn't even get that. Which like obviously I know it's not personal and I don't know how many people, you know, with different backgrounds that were more relevant to them or something interviewed and etc cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's just like ugh. It's also Saturday, so I wasn't expecting to get any sort of work-related news or anything like that on a Saturday because it's the weekend, but I got the email today. So it is what it is. Anyway, I, d I don't know why I'm emotional about this. I think I am taking it a little bit personally and I need to like not. More so, it's not even like just about that particular role because like while I was excited about it and I thought that it would be really good in a lot of ways, I did have some like of my own reservations and some things that, you know, maybe weren't ideal about it. So it's like, you know, something better is out there and I just have to keep going. <laughs> but I think it's just like more broadly, I'm just kind of like tired of getting bad news and not just about like work stuff and job searching because that's like, you know, whatever, but I don't know, I've already been feeling a little bit like down. Oh, fuck. Anyway, I think I just like really needed some good news and that wasn't it. I'll be fine. I like won't even remember this probably in a couple months, but it's just like I'm going to meet up with friends, so I need to like get out of this headspace and honestly I think it'll be a good distraction for me. Uh, at least I get to wear this cute picnic dress and it's nice out and it'll be good to relax in the park with friends. So I'm gonna head out soon and put on shoes and get my stuff together. I think I'm just gonna bring some like cheese and crackers that I had left over from, we watched the Love Island finale in my apartment the other day. Anyway, uh, just a little update. Not the one I was hoping for, but life goes on. So yeah, let's get some stuff together and head to the park. Okay, hello everyone. It's now Monday morning. I'm kicking off this week and like feeling a lot more energized, I guess, and like trying to get motivated and put myself on some sort of schedule or structure because I feel like I kind of fell apart a little bit this weekend. And I just feel like I'm at the turning point of, okay, I have been, you know, out of this job for a couple weeks now the vacation excitement of having the freedom of my schedule back is pretty much wearing off and now I'm like panicking a little bit and I think it's just a lot going on in my head right now and I've been trying to kind of like sort through my emotions as you guys have seen in this video and like looking back when I recorded that clip on Saturday before I went to the picnic it was like prime I had just read that rejection email and literally the entire like 
hopeful this will be the turning point of when things get back on track and I'm getting my life back together and this is what I need and blah 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 of that particular position was just like shattered so I felt very emotional in response to that and it wasn't just like getting one job rejection it's just like a lot of turmoil <laughs> I mean that's dramatic but just like other things in my life that I'm also dealing with personally that that kind of combined with that like I think I was putting a lot of stake in that particular opportunity thinking that it would like fix a lot of other things and then it didn't I was like fuck now I have to face these other things that I was I don't know I think I'm particularly struggling I want to talk about this more in another video but honestly I just wanted to wrap this vlog up because I feel like I've talked a lot um so I think I might do a sit down video or something just like really giving a thorough life update and getting into more of like my thoughts and feelings on this weird transitional time in my life but I think I just feel like there's more, I think I'm struggling more in this transitional looking for a new job period because I like really need the job to throw myself into and escape into from other things. And I think that's the problem. It's like me trying to escape other issues with like, well, if I found this perfect job, then I could, you know, focus on that and be fine. Um, and I need to actually like face everything. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with this week. And honestly, like it was kind of overwhelming over the weekend. And like yesterday I was just like a mess. And I think today I'm like piecing myself back together a little bit, trying to maybe set some more like short term goals and other things that I can do to work on in tandem with looking for a job because it's just so much to put all of the pressure of like this will solve all my issues onto one thing you know even if it is a big part of your life it's still just one part of you and i feel like i don't know i guess i'm speaking vaguely but i'll get into it more in another video um i think i might post my concord vlog after this and then the one after that i'll probably sit down because right today is like i want to make some lists talk through some things make some goals and like figure out you know how i want to systematize this like transitional time in my life so I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head, but I think I'm feeling better today is what I'm getting at. And sorry if that came off dramatic, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna apologize. That was my like raw reaction. And like, yeah, it was dramatic, but again, like there are other things behind the scenes too that just like all hit me with that. So, you know, it's okay. We are picking ourselves up. That was a bad pancake. The first thing that I really got invested in. So the next one, maybe not the next one, but there's something good coming and we all have to go through those. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but every single time without fail, when I go into a job search process, there's always one that I get super invested, excited, picturing, I think it's the perfect thing and then it falls through. And then the next thing turns out to be even better. So that's what we're manifesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching this vlog. I know it was a little bit all over the place because it was like two different weeks pieced together and you really saw the entire arc of that job um prospect come and go but still moving forward so that's what i'm telling myself i'm gonna go to the gym after this and uh, get my life together i'm gonna finish editing this vlog actually so i can get it sent off and make some lists and set goals i think that's what i really need is like imposing some structure on myself in this unstructured time and yeah so that's where we're at um, thanks for bearing with me in this and I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support and hopefully this was either, you know, therapeutic to see if you're going through the same thing or made you feel better about having a secure job. <laughs> I will see you in my next vlog. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you soon. Bye!